Over there. There's a bar behind that building. Best whiskey sours in Manhattan. If we take this city back, I'll buy you a drink. Sorry. I mean, when we take it back. Here it comes. The rest of us should be in this chopper. Can't believe it's finally happening. Do this!
What can I help you with? I'll catch you around. No hard feelings. done here. Intercepting JTF radio traffic. Taking small arms fire! Small arms fire! Who would have us in their sight? JTF hearing this? Please respond! Tracking signal. Analysis complete. Dispatch, Easy this now. is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Uh, uh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? We've got...
got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. You have incoming position agents as backup to your location. Without their sound, you get us some help. Get us there right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go. Outside is now under control. My official report. The division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander Benitez is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. The security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF love the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. Hey, come take a look. The tech wing has obviously seen better days, but if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. Remember, personal hygiene is important. Hey, bad news. 
I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, <clears throat> you need to- Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. what you saw on TV while you were jerking off to We're getting overrun! They're killing everyone in sight! Damn it, if they blow open the floodgates, then... Captain! They've got a... Ah! What the hell are you doing? You're hurting him! Listen up. I spent six years in medical school. I don't give a shit what you saw on TV while you were jerking off... <laughs> 